Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar and today I want to tell you the difference between twin mode versus sync mode on the kid charge controller. I'm going to explain to you what both modes are, why you would use one versus the other. So twin mode essentially allows you to put two kids onto a single PV array. So you've got a solar array, PV array, whatever terminology you may use for that, and it's got a positive and negative conductor coming down off the roof. Just two conductors. We can actually split those two conductors and run them into two kids and turn it into one 60 amp charge controller, if you will. So that's useful if you're in a, in a case where you've had to expand the array and you've exceeded the capacity of a single kid and the, there's no room left in the conduit to run extra wires and it's just a real hardship. You can do that and you can run those down. Um, I do want to point out that there is a 150 volt limit on the kid uh, that's in twin or sync or even in standalone mode. The kid is 150 volt input. So the reasons you might not want to use twin mode, um, it's a little more complicated because you have to bring those wires down off the roof. You have to decombine those wires, almost like you would combine your PV array. And the wiring length becomes pretty critical uh, so the kids don't have to really try to share the current. They will, they will calibrate and share the current the, you know, as much as they can if the wiring is decent. But say you put 100 feet of 10 gauge wire to one kid and only put two feet to the other one, the resistance is going to be so variable that they're going to have a hard time with that. Um, another reason you might not want to use twin mode versus sync mode in that case is if the PV modules aren't the same. If you've expanded the array, the modules may be a little bit different, may be a little hotter because they're new. So in that case, it may be more valuable to pull down another pair of wires and use sync mode instead of using twin mode. So twin mode basically is turning this into a single 60 amp 150 volt charge controller instead of two 30 amp 150 volt charge controllers. Sync mode, on the other hand, allows us to keep an individual array to each controller and put a bunch of kids together in sync mode to coordinate charging into a single battery. Each kid would then have its own solar array and the benefits to that really are, like I mentioned, if you've expanded the array, the new modules may be a little hotter, they may output a little bit more power and when you put modules together, even if all of the electrical characteristics are the same, if one is doing 8 amps and one is doing 9 amps, everybody's going to come down to 8 amps. So you really, you know, you really don't want to lose that. So in sync mode, they're each going to operate independently. Another value, uh, say you've got a roof that faces east and west instead of just south. You can put some modules on the east side, some on the west side, put the east ones to one kid, the west ones to another kid, and now they can track them independently. Or if you are expanding an existing array, chances are maybe you had 60 cell modules up originally and you had a 37 volt open circuit on a module, had a couple in series for you know 74 volts on a single kid. And you just found a really good deal on some 72 cell, 300 watt modules. Now you've got an 88 volt open circuit on the new panels if you put two in series. So you bring them down to this kid, they're both going to track independently and they're going to be perfectly happy with that. Whereas if you're trying to mix those 60 and 72 cell modules into a single string, uh, what I like to call solar salad, it gets really kind of entertaining to try to do that. It can be done as long as you pay attention to things and you keep the voltages on a string within say, five, six percent of each other, or you keep the short circuit current of each module in the string within five or six percent of each other, they'll operate pretty decently, but it's still a little bit of a compromise. So if you, if you can keep them split up like that, it, it may be more valuable. So again, just to recap, twin mode turns it into a single big charge controller. Sync mode leaves them all independent of each other with their own independent solar arrays, but coordinates all the charging into the battery, shares the battery temperature sensor, is really probably the most valuable way to go. Till next time, that's Ryan of Midnight Solar.